All right, so let's say that if you want to write a program uh, to determine the number of floors in a building, for example, how would you write a flow chart to do something like that? And we'll make some rules that, you know, in order to go up the stairs or down the stairs, it doesn't matter, is that you would, there must be a staircase. Okay, so there's a staircase, and uh, so you can walk the staircase to determine how many floors that building has. Okay, so for example, I'm going to go here and do a, um, a flow chart. So you can see the flow chart here. You see the symbol here. This is kind of tiny, but it's the terminator. So you put here like that, and then inside here, you put um, stone. Okay, I know it's not center, but I think it doesn't matter. And somewhere here, going to put another copy and paste. Maybe down here, you're going to have one that says and uh, stop or end. <clears throat> so when you run the program, I'm going to create um, an input, right? So you, uh, what is the input in this case? Let's say that the input is we, um, boy, uh, yeah, I'll make it so that it does might not make a lot of sense, but let's see. We'll put here. Okay, so the input has this shape. <clears throat> so you can say, um, um, now let's, let's just, just you know, we're just gonna do the process here. So here we uh, enter um, building, okay? <clears throat> that's That's one step. Say you enter the building through a door, what should be the next step? What do you think? Yeah, just, let's just say we start on the very bottom and we'll go up to the top of the building and determine how many floors we have, how, how many floors the building has. So we enter the building now. So what is the next thing we should do? Yeah, well, yeah, the stairs, right? So you wanna check if there is a staircase or not, right? If there's no stairs, then what does it tell us? There's only one floor, right? Okay, so we can check the stairs. We do that by using the diamond shape here, like this. Okay, like that. And you can say, um, has stairs. We'll just, we'll just say, assume the stairs always go up. Does it have stairs, right? <clears throat> so here, and then we draw the arrow. Um, let's see, arrows, gonna draw arrows from here, from here to here, okay? Always in that direction, the direction of flow of, of data. From here we enter the building, after that we end, and then we check for the stairs, okay? And does it have stairs or not? And then on the right side is no, and the left side is, or the left side is no, right side is yes. Let's say that if there's no stairs, then we can output, let me move this a little bit down here, if there are no stairs, so that's like the edge case, right? There's no stairs, then we're done, okay? So here, then I'll put output here. Um, I'll copy this, put it down here. Uh, yeah, well, let's use, the, let's use this symbol. This is for display output here, okay? So display um, uh, number of floors. This is the output here. So we're gonna to get to this anyway at the end. So then the arrow again goes here. I know this is gonna go down to the stop we end here. Now, when we uh, have stairs, so now we're gonna go and then I'll use this curve connector here. I can do here or here, doesn't matter. And just nicely put here, you go like that, and you go like that or like this, it doesn't matter. As long as the arrow makes sense, okay? And usually this is not the way, this is nice that you can do like this. Make it look like that. And then make it kind of nice like this. Oops. Um, like that. Okay. <clears throat> so one way out. And then if there's no stairs, then display a number of floors. As you can see, I build as I go, okay? I have to find a way to track the number of floors, right? I'm not sure here, but you should have to, need to count the number of floors uh, as you go. So 
then we have to put some text here as well. This is the no part, okay? And then if it's yes, then it's the other direction. So if, if there's more, more, um, more stairs, um, then what should happen? If you found a stair, right? There's a, we're gonna climb up the stairs, right? You climb up the stairs. So I should climb up the next stairs, what should happen? Yeah, you go up, right? If you go up the next stairs, you go up the next stairs again. So as you go up every stair, every step, you need to count the number of floors to go, right? You need to keep track of that, okay? So in this case, if there's no more floor to go, then we're done. If there is a stair, then we need to say, well, I need to process something. So I put here, the process is this diamond, uh, this shape here. I'm going to put here, um, you know, uh, add, um, add something. Um, yeah, a floor, right? But we need a counter or something for that floor. We add the floor number. And then after that, let's, let's put it right here. So I'm gonna draw the arrow from here to this symbol. And it's gonna be this arrow with the end over here, like, nope. With the end, uh, this one here. Yeah, like that. And then again, put the thing here says yes. Okay, so you need to know which is yes, which is no. If you don't put it, how do I know which way, which one is yes, which is no? If you put yes or no, if you put true or false, uh, it doesn't matter. As long as the one negates the other, okay? <clears throat> you add the floor or you increase the floor number. And then after that, what happens? Yeah, you the whole process starts again, right? So we're not gonna say has this again, but it's already here. So what you do is then this point, we're gonna draw an arrow either here or over here, doesn't matter. Go back out to somewhere over here, okay? And the arrow points to that line right there, okay? So it repeats itself. So we, we enter the building. Is there any stairs? No, we're done. Then what the first rule? And then yes, then we add the floor number. We count that number. Um, and then we check if there's stairs or not. Is there a stairs? Yes, there is. Then from that point on, um, again, the same thing. If, it, if it's another stair, you add it and one again. Now it's two or three or four, it doesn't matter. And then once you are done, it's going to exit out. By the time, the number of floors will be already added as you move up the building. And so now with this in mind, that you say, okay, well, I have to find a way to store this floor number. So you can do a separate uh, icon here if you want, enter the building, okay? And you can um, just put, writing it all together, it's fine too. You can say, um, <clears throat> floor is equal to one by default, right? The default is always one. That's the first floor already. So if you go here and then has, has stairs, no, then display, you can say display floor. So what floor, ever floor is, is gonna be one. If it has stairs, then that means there must be another level. So therefore, we can say floor is equal to four plus one, right? Because it was one here, but it added one to the floor, so now floor is two, okay? This has been created already when we reach this place. So we increment that by one, and then we check to see if there's another floor stairs or not. If there's no, then we can say, oh, no more. We printed out what floor is now already two. We found out it has two levels, okay? So something simple like that, you can see, put to a flow chart, you can easily see how things occur in a sequential order. <clears throat> okay. Um, so that's just one example of how you can uh, put this into code. Okay. Um, all right, so your assignments will be kind of similar to what we just did. Uh, to, to, you know, um, I didn't use pseudocode here, but 
uh, you can basically convert this into pseudocode. How would you do this in pseudocode? You write into pseudocode these sequential steps again. You say enter the building, uh, set floor to one. Does it have a stairs? If yes, then add floor to one floor, and then check and then repeat something. Repeat, repeat. Otherwise, uh, just display the total floor, and then you would done. Okay. Just write how you would process how you read this chart. The same idea. So make sure you're able to, you know, um, convert between the flow chart to a pseudocode and back and forth, and, and both ways. Yes, question. So it's your for the Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can draw it out using pencil and paper. Um, take a phone, phone shot of, of the picture and upload it. Or if you use a program like Google Draw or any other program you can use out there. There's a lot of tools out there you can use on online as well. Like uh, um, I have a list in the, I think in the um, Blackboard as well. Like Lucid Chart and many other smart draw or whatever. So I'm not too critical about what tools you need. I'm more interested in, uh, in how you're able to draw this out. And, and so, so um, just make sure you know how to use it, draw it out and put this in the direct, correct order and uh, name your icon this way. Also notice that when you <clears throat> notice, I did not, I did not do this, right? Um, I did not put the arrow right here. Oh well, yeah, this is okay. What I want to show was if I if I if I move this down. So let's say if I move this down here. Okay. So I want to show you something that you should not do. So that's a yes, and this is the yes part here. So it doesn't matter which corner you come, it comes out. Okay, as long as one of those corners is fine. Now, what you don't want to do is you don't want to say this is going to go right in here. Okay. <clears throat> this is this is not good. I mentioned earlier that this diamond shape, you see it's only one input. Okay, now it has two inputs, so it's not correct. So um, when you do it this way, just make sure that it always has one input. If you have two or three or four lines coming to this diamond shape, yeah, it's possible that you might have other programs over here and it might have to go back and check the stairs. If that's the case, then your arrow must be pointing to the line that was already pointing to this shape. Okay, so I know that there's only one entry point to that diamond shape. Okay, either directly to the arrow like this, or if you do this, then it will connect that to the same line. And again, that would uh, still uh, be fine. Okay, so one entry point, two output here. Sometimes you may not see this at all. Sometimes they may leave that out, but it doesn't mean that there's, there's no output there. It just means it's empty 